welcome to my channel and today we are going to be talking about Nathan Phillips Square. Um, if you guys aren't aware, Nathan Phillips Square is the front of our new city hall. Um, side note, <laughs> our new city hall is not very new. It was built in the 70s, 60s, either in the 60s or 70s. Um, so yeah. New City Hall, not very new, but we're not talking about the New City Hall in this video because we were talking about Nathan Phillips Square. Okay, Nathan Phillips Square was opened in 1965. Um, it was named after a Toronto mayor uh, within that time frame. I'm pretty sure the Toronto mayor that they named Nathan Phillips is, uh, he was the mayor from 1955 to 1962. I have a little notes down below. Um, yeah. And this was designed by these two people. <laughs> I'm gonna just write it down in front. Um, it was designed by these two people because I wrote one name, there was two names. I wrote one name, but I cannot pronounce that. So, Nathan Phillips Square, like, the basic, basics that you're gonna have to know is the fact that there is, um, they're calling it, reflecting pool I didn't even know it had a name it's just basically a huge water area in the middle of um, like it's kind of like a fountain in the middle of the area um, and on the north west side of the pool there is a Toronto sign it's like iconic Toronto sign that we it the Toronto sign was, is kind of like an iconic now, but it was brought in for the 2015 Pan Am Games that happened within Toronto. And it kind of just stuck around. Everyone was kind of thinking like, oh, it's just cool looking, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, it's just kind of like a fake fixture there now. You'll see a lot of people always like, like taking pictures on the Toronto sign and there will always, be, if you want a picture from the Toronto sign, just be prepared that there are going to be people in the background. <laughs> um, yeah. So this area is pretty much, besides like the reflecting pool, it's pretty much bare most of the time. Um, it is a large space. A lot of things happen within there. Um, thing. Oh yeah. So a lot of like public events happen there. Like new, there's always like, new, there, every, oh my god. Every year, there's a New Year's um, kind of like concert countdown kind of thing. It's like New York's um, Times Square New Year's thing, but then I'm like, it's not really, it's not like that. It's not to that capacity. It's pretty big, but it's not to that capacity. Um, recently, we did have the July 1st um, long weekend festivities there. Um, there's like a lots of performances. There were um, surprise guests. Um, oh, they had fireworks there late at night for that whole three days. It was pretty cool. I actually saw one of the fireworks after one of my um, I was passing by after work, and I was just like, "Oh my god, I should watch the fireworks." It was it was pretty cool. I definitely like that. Um, oh yeah, and we can. There is a stage there. So like a lot of the performances that happen will be on that stage, um, yeah. So yeah, it's just pretty much like, Nathan Phillips Square is pretty much like an empty space, like concrete space. I don't want to call it a park because it's not a park, um, but it is like pretty much like just an empty space. Uh, oh, and Sometimes when prote there are protesters that happen, they kind of do it there. I mean, which makes sense because it is a it is in front of the city hall, but you guys still gotta need a permit if you want to protest there. <laughs> Little side note. Um, yeah. So, or uh, did I already mention? I probably did. There is also in that bottom space is a. A crap snack section, which is I. Oh my god, I can't remember as I'm filming this, which is really bad. Um. What was it? 
Oh, crud. It's a burger place. I don't remember what it's called on top of my head, which sucks. Um, I'll have it written somewhere on my screen here. Yeah, there are washrooms there on the that little area as well. There's washrooms and during the winter, as I already mentioned, there are fucking pool becomes a, a rink, ice skating rink, so you can rent beside it there you can rent skates. <laughs> okay, so the next piece of business that we're gonna be talking about within the Nathan Phillips Square is the kind of like walkway around the space. Um you can walk up there. It, it's like a stairs so you can look from above. Uh, I'm pretty sure I don't have a clip of it, but I do have a clip going to the rooftop garden of the city hall. Um, yeah, basically the walkway you can walk around. Actually, if I have time, I will, um, take a quick video of it if I can. It'll be different days, obviously, but yeah, yeah, whatever. Um, there is a walkway there. It's pretty cool up there. Um, the walkway, it's kind of boring at the same time. It's mostly just for nice photographic pictures, like panoramic video, panoramic, well, yeah, it could be a video, uh, like a, a nice angle to see the city hall behind you. And sometimes depending on how you take the photo, you can actually see, um, the Toronto sign on your picture. Uh, obviously it depends on where you are standing. But yeah, it's pretty cool. I've actually been there a couple of times, but I don't like going there just because there's no seats. Like, it literally is just a walkway around Nathan Phillips Square. It's, that's just, it's like, it's just a walkway. It doesn't lead anywhere. I mean, yeah, it kind of connects to the rooftop up garden, but even then it's like, it's, it's just there. <laughs> it's just there. It's. Yeah, it's just there. Um, it's cool. It's it's still pretty cool to kind of just walk up there and look around. But just be warned, you won't see much up there. So now I'm going to be talking about the rooftop garden. Rooftop garden is pretty much that, a rooftop garden. It's It's been kind of really rainy in Toronto this past summer, so there aren't a lot of flowers in that rooftop garden, on that rooftop garden. And since a lot of the the greenery and shrubs that are laid on top of the rooftop garden, it's not gonna be as foliagey because it is, they do, they did use a root, like roof garden, roof plants that you can use, plants, plants that you can use onto, on the roof, so it's, it never gets like completely foliagey. I hope you know what I mean, but it, yeah, there's not a lot of flowers there. Um, just because it's been so gray and it, a lot, it's, you see a lot of green in Toronto, but not a lot of flowers. I hope that made sense. I really hope that made sense. Um, yeah, so pretty much you get to the rooftop garden, you walk well one of the ways you can walk up this like really cool ramp on the east side of the um, Nathan Phillips Square there is a ramp there you can just you can either walk up that way or there are stairs that you can take I prefer to walk up the, the little ramp just because it's really cool um, yeah it's I'm pretty sure it's not open year-round um, obviously the ramps, you can't walk on the ramp if there's ice on there or whatever, you know. Um, yeah. Oh, the rooftop garden is actually the, re the whole reason why I'm talking about it is because it is actually one of my favorite places in Toronto. Um, there are, as I already mentioned, there are greeneries, there are seats. The number one thing that I don't like about the walkways is because there are no seats there. But in the rooftop garden, there are seats there. Um, like little benches that you can sit on. A little, is it called pergola? I think that's what it's called, pergola. 
Um, so yeah, there are benches there. Um, yeah. Yeah, there are benches there. Um, but really, the number one thing that I really love about this area of the space is the view. You can see... You can't see, um, the CN, cannot see the CN Tower with, in the video, um, in the video, um, in the space, but I really like seeing, um, the different buildings that are around there. I think you can see the old city hall there. You can see, like, you can see new city hall from behind you, like the rooftop. Um, oh, what else can you see there? It's just like a really nice view from up there. It kind of is one of those spaces where you, it's very peaceful to me at least. Like whenever I go there, it's very peaceful to me and like just looking at all the architectures, um, different kinds of building around there, it's pretty cool. So yeah. Okay, so that is pretty much it for this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching this video and I hope you kind of learned something or kind of saw a good glimpse of what Nathan Phillips Square is. It is, in my opinion, it's it's not that impressive to look at but it is really nice. Um, a lot of parties, as I mentioned in the beginning, a lot of, um, not parties, like a lot of festivals happen in this, in Nathan Phillips Square that are pretty cool. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed this video, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to. Um, of course, you don't have to if you don't want to. Um, and you can also click that little bell not, um, bell notification thing um, if you want to be notified of more videos that I post in the future. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I hoped, and I already said that. I hope you enjoyed this video and I already said that, but um, yeah, until next time, bye guys!